Hi everyone, today in this tutorial I will show you how to do portrait development and uh, skin retouching in Adobe Photoshop. So uh, we have this picture right over here in Adobe Photoshop and uh, we have to work on it. Uh, we have we are going to do some adjustment layers and uh, we will apply these adjustment layers on this image and uh, in the end we will also uh, layer mask and separate this picture from the background and just apply the tilt shift uh, blur that is a type of like a blur and uh, just to beautify the image just uh, we are doing first of all a skin ray touching after that uh, we will do some adjustment layers uh, by using the sliders with the hue and saturation after that uh, we will apply some blur so uh, first of all uh, we have uh, we have to select this layer press ctrl plus j to make the copy of that layer go to adjustment layer go and select the brightness and contrast I'm doing randomly I'm just increasing the brightness whatever um, according to unknown value if I think the brightness is okay then I will choose that uh, point okay like that value so I'm just increasing if I think this is fine so at 70 the value of brightness is fine and the uh, picture looks very gorgeous now after that we have a contrast value contrast do some uh, darkness and uh, darkness applied to the image if we decrease it so the darkness can be uh, run out and if we increase the contrast you can see the colors are now saturating and the saturation of the colors will be increased so here in this case we will do it to uh, 17 okay after that uh, we have to go to levels and the um, shortcut command is uh, uh, control plus L so we can uh, press the control plus L command and L key to uh, open the levels uh, menu bar Af after that uh, we have uh, these sliders uh, right over here we can use these sliders to increase or decrease the brightness in the image you can see if there is anything I think so uh, we are uh, we already opened this so we have to do it from right over there because it is already opened so you can use the sliders like it is now um, you can see it is decreasing the brightness so we are not going to touch this we are going to play with this we can just make it around 1.14 value and if we want to increase from that side as well you can it's up to you you can use that slider as well so in this case the 253 is fine okay after that uh, we have to go to um, curves if you want to because it is similar to uh, levels so if you want to um, apply the curves on this picture it's up to you uh, in this case I can show you like if you uh, place this and just uh, just see the image it is same as levels okay after that we have to go again and choose the vibrance in vibrance case uh, this it is similar to contrast and you can see it is similar to uh, image uh, colorization so if we increase the vibrance you can see the colors uh, like red green are now saturating like they are becoming darker now not uh, becoming uh, like you can say lighter so if we increase the vibrance value so you can see it is very increased now the yellowish tone on the skin is increased the lips color the red all over the picture is increased now it become darker now so if we can decrease it you can see all the colors are unsaturated now the colors are become very lighter so in this case we are going to increase the vibrance value just uh, do it at uh, 50 after that we have a saturation saturation do the same thing uh, but uh, here is the case that uh, it will increase uh, like if there is a yellow color uh, or white uh, all over the body it will definitely increase all the yellowish tone on the skin and the reddish you can see the picture is become very uh, uncomfortable now so just make it zero then increase it uh, sorry we have to go to vibrance then make it around 60 or 59 and increase the saturation value as well 
to 15 okay this is okay after that uh, we have a next adjustment layer that is a very important layer in this uh, topic we have a hue and saturation adjustment layer go to that layer don't choose a master and just uh, play with these and these sliders you have to go specifically to reds yellows and greens okay these are the three base uh, main sliders uh, that will control the all over uh, color of the picture so go to the reds okay increase the saturation gradually you can see but in this case we just have to increase uh, to the minimum value uh, around this okay you can see the difference if I increase the much but in this case the five pixels is fine like the value 5 is fine and the lightness uh, slider basically controls the lightness or you can say darkness and darkens and lightens the red color so in this case if you see we can control from right over there as well but in this case I think so negative 12 is very fine okay you can see the colors are very dark now but after that we have to do uh, exposure and do something as well so we will do it later after that we have to go to yellows and from there we have a saturation and lightness uh, bar as well again we have to do same thing if we think it will totally uh, control the skin tone and yellowish color all over the picture so in saturation tab if we increase it gradually you can see it's totally up to you how much you want to control uh, the yellowish tone uh, or skin tone on the picture so in this case I'm going to left it uh, to negative negative 12 and after that lightness it will definitely uh, also increase the uh, or decrease the yellowish tone on the picture so definitely if we think uh, uh, that is fine the 40 pixel is fine around yeah that's fine because after that we also have to uh, choose the uh, different uh, values as well like, like as brightness and exposure as well so the 40 is fine after that uh, I'm going to use uh, this adjustment layer again go to master go to greens now in this condition we have a greens available in the background in the greens uh, we are going to increase or decrease the value it's totally up to you if you want this type of image like blackish and whitish tone and you just want to make the picture like this it's totally up to you but if you want to increase the saturation and you also want to show the greens uh, in the picture as well so you can do it but in this case uh, if I do it to minus 100 you can see the picture still looks very beautiful okay and uh, we can do around negative 70 we can do uh, we have uh, this uh, lightness okay we can do negative 12 that is fine okay now uh, the uh, we just played with the here and saturation is completed now uh, now we have to do uh, some tasks with exposure uh, we didn't do anything with exposure so now it is time for exposure adjustment layer okay so right now these values are v increased very uh, like in the a very greater value so we have to just do uh, like mini uh, we have to increase it gra gradually because the values shown right over there is with the points like 0 0.0000 like tetra zero so in exposure exposure will increase the overall brightness offset will increase the uh, it, it will lighten the dark area all over the picture okay gamma correction totally uh, play with the colors so we will discuss later first of all we have to select uh, drag the slider to the right side you can see if we decrease it you can see and uh, if we take it to the positive you can see it is very become brighter now so I I think in this case 0 0.40 is fine okay like 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 now I will tell you what offset do with the picture 
you can see if we decrease it uh, the darkens uh, it darkens all the dark areas uh, right over the picture it also darkens the colors as well it also darks the it will increase the darkness all over the picture so we are increasing gradually so it will lightens up the picture if you want to do it uh, but in this case I'm doing it to uh, I'm going to remain it uh, just a bit increasing uh, like negative 0 0.0042 in this case uh, offset will remain th at this value okay after that we will play with gamma correction as well you can see what gamma will do it is not uh, lighting up the dark areas it is just lightens and uh, you can say lightening or darking the brighten areas okay the offset to offset lightens and darkens the dark areas and uh, it will increase the darkness or you can see it will lightens and darkens the bright areas so these are the two uh, uh, this familiar you can see it is not a similar things these are the inverted so in this case if you want to do it to right over there that's fine okay after that uh, we have the option for available uh, next adjustment layer it, it will be around I think so I have covered all the like brightness levels curves exposure vibrance here and saturation these are the main uh, main adjustment layers we required now w one thing I have to do uh, first select this layer hold shift and co uh, shift key and click expire one it will select all the layers press control plus G to group that layers okay now we have to do if we unhide this layer you can see the original picture okay if we hide uh, just to hide this layer sorry I just a uh, uh, mistake if we hide this layer it will uh, the adjustment layers that we applied it will uh, fit, uh, vanished and if we unhide this then it will apply it okay now uh, if you want to apply some blur over the picture it will be fine but in this video I'm not going to do this because uh, it will take a uh, much more time so you can uh, do it uh, on your uh, just do it yourself if you want to do but in this case I think so all of it is um, just uh, in a uh, you can see in a positive way you can see the blur is okay and uh, we don't need to uh, apply more blur because it is not a good portrait you can see the uh, you can say uh, the leaves are just coming on the body and uh, we cannot do any blur because if we apply the blur it will de definitely affect the picture as well so in this case uh, I'm just finishing now and uh, hope you like the video you can see the um, effect and uh, that we applied with the uh, sliders if you uh, you can just play with that if you uh, want to and uh, if you just go again to hue and saturation you can go yellows and just increase or decrease the image it's up to you but in this case I'm um, okay I'm just uh, doing it uh, right over there okay and this is for today's tutorial and uh, if you like this tutorial make sure to subscribe to this channel please and uh, I just like the video